And as widely expected, President Biden's first State of the Union address to Congress Tuesday night focused heavily on the crisis in Ukraine. He called on Russian leader Vladimir Putin to stop the invasion, saying Putin has miscalculated, and he announced more sanctions on Moscow. Kim Dami has the details. President Biden said Tuesday in his first State of the Union address that the free world has abandoned together in response to the crisis in Ukraine, with EU members and other allies, including South Korea, holding Russian President Vladimir Putin accountable. Throughout our history, we've learned this lesson. When dictators do not pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos. They keep moving. Biden warned that Putin, in attempting to shake the foundations of the free world, has badly miscalculated and now faces a wall of strength he never imagined. He said Putin is more ostracized from the world than ever and announced more sanctions on Moscow, effective immediately as of the next day. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. He has no idea what's coming. Biden then pledged to provide military, economic and humanitarian assistance to Ukraine, including more than a billion dollars in direct aid. But he also made it clear that U.S. forces are not going to engage in conflict with the Russian forces in Ukraine. China was also near the top of Biden's traditional address to Congress, where he pledged to win what he called the economic competition of the 21st century, saying it's, quote, never been a good bet to bet against the American people. Biden also laid out plans to tame the worst inflation in nearly 40 years, such as manufacturing cars and semiconductors locally instead of relying on foreign supply chains. Praising the country's fight against the pandemic, Biden said that COVID-19 need no longer control Americans' lives and pledged that his administration will continue to respond to new variants and secure treatments. Kim Dami, Arirang News.